G'day and welcome to Bump, the number two Thursday night football show. I'm Lachlan. I'm Jayan. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all of the support. Big g'day to Goxie. <laughs> Hi guys. Thanks for having me. So nice to have you back. We both miss you very much. I still haven't got my RSA, but I don't think you need it. Listen kids, you don't need booze to have fun. I mean, it helps. It was a very, 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 very good round of footy. I think what was most exciting about the round was the boys seemed to have gotten over their jumper punch phase. And that is worth a little, little clap. Great job, guys. I'm glad jumper punches are gone. Now we're getting back to punching faces. No, that's a joke. Don't punch faces. Any of you go to the footy on, on the weekend? I did, but it was a bit of a problem. Why? What I happened? Was as soon as Etihad Stadium and the roof was open, I got a lot of sun reflection from the Maddie Bank building that uh, imposes above Etihad Stadium and I got some eye strain. Close the roof, please. Uh, knock, knock, Lachlan. Who's there? Uh, it's Saints, we're in the eight. There are three clubs represented on bump and only one of them is in the eight. Let's just say they're known as Saint KFC. Saint Kilda Football, Football Club. Yeah. Now the biggest talking point this week, someone get Ashton Kutcher on the phone because there's been a butterfly effect from cracking down on jumper punches and also everyone's getting punked or should I say punched directly in the face. You could say when you've been punched in the head, you'd be thinking, dude, where's my car? Because you're not your memory's gone a bit. It was a very violent round. Thomas Bug. Uh... I feel pretty embarrassed. Actually, I was saying how much I liked him previously, and now I'm, I have to eat my words. It's a bug act, not a dog act, a bug act. Thomas Bug has six weeks to rewatch the Disney Pixar underrated classic, A Bug's Life, and learn some good values about overcoming adversity without resorting to violence maybe constructing a big moth or whatever happened in that movie. He's but a metaphorical the moth. A moth of four. So, JR, the red card, should it be brought into AFL football to send players off? Yes. Goxie. Definitely. But they should get finesse the rules of it. I'm so you're saying like... instead of a red card, there should be a bread card. That's exactly what I'm saying, Lachlan. Tricky Nicky Rewald. He called for the ball when it wasn't his ball to call. It wasn't his ball at all. He did the football equivalent of... Remember when you're a kid and you're like, give me five, <laughs> and then they go to give you five and you're like, nah. I thought he was going to give me five and he just pushed his hair back. Who's the goose? The goose of the Ripley. week I thought that's so is cool. everyone who's hating on Nick Rewell. Hopefully he will influence the younger generations to prank on too. And within five years, the entire league will look like a Three Stooges skit. Another important part of footy is the bounce of the ball. Very hard skill. Even the greats can't do it right. The rule is every 15 steps when you're running, you've got to bounce the ball. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you when you're running. You've got to bounce it. Oh, okay. Didn't work that time. Try again. So I'm running along 15. Footy is a weird shape and doesn't bounce very well. I'd rather bounce a basketball. All right, now it's time for the most popular football segment in the world. Locks, lock of the week. Here, Goxie. Ah! Bread card. Hate it or rate it? So there was a tense battle up at Spotless Stadium. The Giants and Geelong. It was, it was supposed to be a top of the table, eight pointer, classic eight pointer clash. It's devastated the points, premiership points economy. Now we're left with situation. an existential dread. No songs. No songs. There's no song. There's no song. What kind of message do drawers send to the kids out there? That, that we can be equal? No. They should have a specific song for drawers that's like universal. Footy, we like it a little bit, but we're confused. Um, I'm drawing my response to a draw right now. Give me a moment. Why are you dressed the same as me? Another round of footy. How exciting for everyone. Crows will be playing the dogs. Now this is, a, this, is a miles <laughs> fuck? this is a milestone game. It is Bob Murphy's 306th game. Uh, and I think the dogs will lift and bring it home for Bob. I got the crows. I can't see them stuffing up at home for a third time. I reckon it's going to be a draw. Hawks versus the Giants. 
definitely a draw. Lachlan, what do you reckon? Hawks. Giants. Pies versus, whoa, Jesus. Pies versus Essendon. Draw. <laughs> Dons. I'll say Pies. The Sydney Swans versus Suns. I reckon the mighty Gold Coast Suns. Swans. Draw. Lions versus Cats. I think the Cats will win the battle of the Cats. Because a lion is a type of cat. I've got a good feline about this game. Saints versus Tigers. I've got a good feline about this game. Saints. Draw. Saints for me. I like the look of them. They're a good club. Blues versus D's. Blues. Uh, I reckon the Carlton Blues. Oh, it's a hard one. Give me a sec. Draw. Eagles versus Power. Eagles. Do you reckon Domain Stadium has to register with GoDaddy? Fuck, it's a really tough one. I'm thinking to draw. So thanks for tuning in another week to Boom. Special shout out Taylor Harris for the Carlton Blues getting in the boxing ring. Ready for <laughs> AFLW next year. Fuck yeah, say hi to your dad for me. <laughs>